Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're going to be checking out and showing you how to hook up the Hopkins 5-Way Trailer Connector in. So what this 5-Way is going to do is give you your basic functions, right? So you'll have your brake lights, your turn signals, and your tail lights. But it's also going to have another function. That's what this blue wire is here. That's going to be for your reverse lights. So there's a few instances on where this uh, connector in would come in handy. If your trailer already has a setup like this and maybe the connector's beat up, you can pick this up, you know, uh, cut a portion of your existing wiring off and uh, connect this into it. That way everything's new and fresh. Or you can, um, I guess you can call it upgrade from your traditional style four-way flat connector here. And that's what we did here today. So on our boat trailer, um, what we're doing is adding disc brakes. And when you add uh, disc brakes to a boat trailer, or brakes for that matter, you're gonna have a surge uh, type actuator here in the coupler. And depending on what one you have, some of these have an electric reverse lockout. And so what, what will happen, whenever the reverse light signal goes into here, it won't lock up the brakes and a lot of allow us to back up and so that's what we did we got rid of our four-way and hooked this one up that way we can take our reverse signal that's going to be coming from our towed vehicle or from our truck it'll go into here and go into our reverse lockout solenoid uh, whenever we're backing up or uh, what some people do as well is um, on my on smaller utility trailers and things like that uh, some people like to put reverse lights, um, you know, when they're backing up to uh, the work side or whatever the case may be. And you could end up, you know, hooking up your reverse lights to uh, this signal here. And granted, it's not gonna put out a ton of amperage, but you know, if you got a couple of LED lights, it's, it's gonna be more than enough um, and that will work. So uh, a few different applications for this, you know, I'm sure people use them for other things too. Those are just kind of things that come to my mind. And something I want to mention, just since it's a five-way, um, you can still use a, um, a four-way flat. So let's say if your vehicle only has a four-way, or let's say if you get in a pinch and need to borrow someone's car or something, you can still plug a four-way into this, right? You just won't utilize that particular circuit. On a trailer like ours, probably not a good idea because of this, but if it's a utility trailer and it's, you're just using it for reverse lights, you know, it's not critical. But um, just wanted to mention that uh, that way, um, you know, you kind of know what you need to do with your vehicle side. So I do want to mention, you know, you're probably thinking, what do I need to do on my vehicle side for this to work? So let's just say, for example, if your uh, tow vehicle only has a seven way round type trailer connector plug on, on the back bumper or whatever. Um, obviously, this ain't got to plug right into it. So that's where something like this would come into play. So this is essentially just an adapter, and that end would plug into your vehicle seven-way, and then it just turns into a five-way flat connector. That way you can just uh, plug that right in and get everything that way. So pretty straightforward. Or let's say if your vehicle um, only has a four-way flat type connector on it, and you obviously want to use the reverse like function, um, there's vehicle ends as well. So you can actually convert your existing four-way flat uh, connector on your car or your truck uh, to one of these and be able to plug everything in and have all the functions actually work. The harness is going to be 18 inches long, so you're definitely gonna have some wires to work with uh, in terms of that. Depending on what you're doing, you may need to extend some of them or kind of just depends on your existing trailer wiring, what's, uh, what's to work with there. Um, and I do want to mention, you know, it would be nice if they gave you a dust cover for this. Obviously, trailers sit outside a lot. Uh, it'd be nice to get this protected. But if that's something you're interested in, um, you can actually pick one up. It's pretty cool. It'll mount to your trailer. And then when you're done using it, you know, you can just plug it in there. So pretty cool actually. Um, and to actually get this installed, you know, it's gonna be similar for most people. Uh, we'll do it here in a moment and just kind of hopefully get you going in the right direction. But you know, you are gonna need a few things. Um, I use some heat shrink butt connectors and a ring terminal. 
Uh, and then, you know, if you want to get wire loom and stuff, you can always pick that up too. But that's really just going to be up to you. But if you'd like to see how we hook this up, feel free to follow along. We'll go ahead and do that now. As far as the install goes, you know, everything's going to be pretty much about the same. Uh, it's just really going to depend on your particular application. If you already have a five-way that's just all beat up and shoot up, you know, it'd be a direct replacement, essentially. Uh, what we're doing is actually upgrading uh, from our four-way, and that's because on our boat trailer here, we're adding brakes and putting in a different actuator up here, which needs a reverse light circuit. So that's uh, that's what we're doing, um, doing here. So, uh, like I said, generally speaking, you know, it's five wires, they gotta be hooked up. So to begin ours though, what we're gonna do is get rid of our four-way wiring here. So I'm gonna try to save as much wire as I can. And I'm just going to, you know, cut these, cut these ends off. And since I'm adding a new uh, coupler up here, it's a lot bulkier. I think I'm going to relocate this wire down below the trailer. So once I do that, I'll show you it and then we can actually start to get this hooked up. So I dropped a wire down through the bottom of the frame. Now there's already a hole there and it just makes more sense with the setup we're getting ready to do. Uh, I did strip back the ends of the insulation on these wires to kind of prep them. And we can do our actual five way now. So with these four wires, you will have to split them. So just carefully kind of cut in between them. And we'll peel them back a little ways. Like that. And then I'm gonna strip back uh, all the ends here. Let's do this one at a time. Once you strip it back, give it a twist, and then take a heat shrink butt connector, place that over the end, and crimp it down. I'll do the same thing for our remaining ends here. So here's what all the ends look like, and now we can get ready to hook them up. So your blue one's gonna be for your reverse light circuit, green will be right turn, yellow will be left turn, brown will be tail lights and white will be your ground and that essentially holds true for the majority of trailer wiring so ours is set up a little different so we have green for right uh, yellow for left and then these two browns are for our tail lights on each side you might have two wires like this you might have one but with these uh, our tail light ones here I'm just going to twist them together and that'll work just fine and now we can start to hook these up uh, color for color. So there's uh, some of our connections made and with these being heat shrinks, uh, I'm gonna take a heat source and seal up the ends. As far as the blue wire and our white ground wire, what I did with the white one, I just added a couple foot of wire to it because I'm not real sure where I'm going to ground this just yet. And the blue wire will get hooked to your reverse light circuit, whether it be, you know, for utility lights or I'm sorry, reverse lights on your trailer, or in our case, it's going to go to the uh, uh, actuator on our coupler here in our boat trailer for the reverse lockout. Um, so before I worry about getting these hooked up, uh, I'd like to get our coupler on, that way we know kind of what we have to work with and we can get everything all done at once. With this all bolted down, we can hook up the wiring coming out of it. So there will be two wires, uh, one of them will be ground, the other one will go to the reverse light signal. Doesn't matter which wire, you know, either end, as long as you're eventually both hooked up. So I uh, kind of got this one ready, crimped on a buck connector. And I'll just use that one for our reverse light uh, wire coming from our five-way wiring. It's usually blue. So to hook these up, strip back the insulation, give it a good twist, put that bare end of the wire in there, and crimp it down. And since this is a heat shrink type connector, I'm gonna grab my heat source real quick. 
and seal up the ends. For our uh, the other wire here, I guess that's going to be a ground. I need to hook up the ground for our new five-way wiring anyway, so I just twisted them together and they'll just share ground, kind of reduce uh, or eliminate one extra unnecessary connection, if that makes sense. So twist them together. Uh, my ring terminal isn't a heat shrink style, so I have a piece of tubing here, heat shrink tubing that I'm going to use. So I'll slide that on first. Followed by our ring terminal. Crimp it down. Slide my tubing over the top. And once I heat shrink this, we can ground it to the frame. To ground this, uh, I just have a self-tapping screw. We're gonna go to our frame and just get it secured. So I went ahead, got our white wire and our blue wire hooked up. Uh, I did have to extend the blue wire just like we did the white one, but uh, our white wire goes to ground. So pretty straightforward. I just crimped on the ring terminal, screwed it to our frame with the self-tapping screw. And the blue wire in our case is going to our actuator uh, coupler here for the reverse lockout. This might vary a little bit for yours. If you have a setup like this, this is what it'll go to. Uh, or like I said, if you have some type of other accessory on your trailer, whatever the case may be, uh, you'd get that hooked up as well. But Really, uh, beside from kind of taping everything up and, and getting it clean, that's really about it. Uh, if you have the rest of your lighting system and whatnot hooked up, it's probably not a bad idea to test this too to make sure all of our connections are good. So I plugged into a test box. Uh, you can use your tow vehicle too, just keep in mind if it has any issues with it, it might translate over to the trailer side, but we'll try our tail lights, our left turn signal, our right turn signal, and our brake lights. So now let me verify that everything works. Uh, I simply just taped up all of our connections and put on some wire loom just to help kind of clean up our install look. But with that done, that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Hopkins five-way trailer connector in.